This is Robot King 15367. I am doing a Marvel Legends review of Thor, the Mighty Lord of Thunder. He is a new but old action figure by Marvel Legends. He first was released in 2000 during the comic release when he becomes the ruler of Asgard. But Marvel decided to um, re-release him and some others, about six other figures to do, to click about um, six figures to build Terrax. You, I've got Thor and one other guy, I'm going to get, um, Steve Rogers in a couple more days, but I have Ghost Rider, so I can, like, build up Terrax, and, um, pretty much so I bought Thor because I'm guessing he's facing him or something, but then I bought Ghost Rider, which I'll be doing a review later on in the week. Um, pretty much, Thor is now the ruler of Asgard. But, the Thunder God has extended his rule to Earth so he can help the Avengers stop all the villains from taking over the world. Um, at the start, he doesn't really get along with the Hulk because Thor is more of a uh, gentleman to women, and the Hulk is just a brute, which is kind of crazy. But um, Thor didn't like that and everything, but pretty much throughout the whole entire story, he married. Enchantress. It ends up having a son, Magni, which I hope they come out with a figure for. I think they did. I don't know. This is my, like, first Marvel Legends figure. But I hope there is a Magni out there so I can get him and do a review on him. But, um, I just say this is the best figure I've ever gotten. Better than Transformers. Better than Halo. Pretty much all out best. But, um, the details on his arm, pretty much the details everywhere are very good. Like, across his biceps, his arms, and everything. The, when you, if you touch the arms, the rivets, feel like that's the real chainmail and stuff like that that he's wearing. The cape is very uh, rubbery. Just a little hard rubber. But it, it moves. The hammer is pretty good size, but I guess I got the, a bad hammer because mine apparently decides to slank. Like, definitely slank. Um... The details are very good on this. Like, you can see the veins on his hands right here. I don't think you can see it, but it's like right there and there on his hands. Um, the clothing looks very lifelike to me so far. Um, I like that he's wearing his helmet, which is pretty cool. He's, well, most of what I've watched, sometimes he's not really wearing it, or what I've seen, he's not wearing his helmet, but I have to say this is the best one. Even his face expression is very good, too, on him. He's got, like, an angry, but, like, determined look on him. He's also even got a chiseled jaw, which is very great. Before we move on to articulation, we will do a size comparison with two other Marvel figure characters. And mostly what I bought, they are perfectly height. So here's 
Iron Man, the Mark V. Iron Man. Um, did you tell Thor's much taller than um, Iron Man? But that's because Thor is a very stature and big guy, and he's also pretty much a god. Um, Iron Man, on the other hand, is a human, and he's not that very tall. Well, he's a good sized per tall person, but pretty much Thor has him beat in like the comics. He's taller than him. And in shows and movies, he's pretty much tall. Well, except for the new Thor movie, which I thought was a good movie. It was, but just the height comparison, they couldn't find anybody else any taller. But at least they did find some a, a good guy to play him. Um, here's a size comparison. I'm just going to move Thor over and stick Ghost Rider right there. If I can get him to stand. He's not. Okay, there we go. Um, pretty much Ghost Rider is about the same height as Iron Man. That's because Ghost Rider is a human, and so is Iron Man. So they're going to be the same height. They're pretty much not gods as compared to Thor. So I'd have to say that's a very good comparison of height between the three of them. Um... Let's move on to uh, articulation right now. Okay, for articulation, um, let me remove his hammer. You know, just set that down. Um, for articulation, his wrists move full 360. They go back and they go inward. Um, pretty much, his arm is just jointed to where it can go like backwards and then can fully go just about that far unless you rotate him and move his arm around. You could probably get it somewhere around there. Um, his full, his arm right here and the elbow goes a 360 and then where his bicep goes a 360. Um, pretty much around his elbow or his shoulder, it's, his cape stops him, but it does go in a full 360. Um, his head goes about that far, because if you go any further, I'll show you, any further, and it'll pop off. Uh, I've only done this twice, and I don't want to do it again. Um, because I don't want to ruin it. Um, pretty, his feet go in a, almost 360. It stops about right there. They can go, they can aim upward and aim downward. Um, he's got a double jointed knee so he can keep this one straight. Move that one in. Go back in and move this knee, This one. Um, rotate. His leg can rotate full 360, both of them, and as far as his leg, his leg can get about this far, this far, and that far, that far. Um, he does have, uh, like a vice, like an upper torso movement. I don't know about his waist. No, no waist movement. And that's pretty much it. Um... I'd have to say if I rated him out of a 10, I'd give him about a 9, because the, he, everything's perfect, the articulation, the articulation, everything, even to his height, it is very exact. Um, it's just that his hip doesn't move, his upper torso moves, or his like upper body area moves, but his waist does not move, which is a very bad letdown for me because I was hoping his uh, waist would move. But um, since it doesn't, I'm giving it a nine out of ten. I do recommend getting it though. Um, for what I got it was uh, at Walmart for twelve ninety nine because 
they had them at Fry's for twelve ninety nine, and I and at Walmart it was fifteen uh, forty four. So pretty much, I got discount on from Walmart. So I recommend you getting him. I will do a review on Ghost Rider um, in the next couple of days. I will start doing re-reviews of most of my uh, figures because I don't think I did a very good job of describing them. Um, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, um, Please follow me on Flirt and Tumblr. Um, also, for any reasons you want to let me know that I've uh, done the video wrong, or maybe I've like um, said something wrong, maybe bad information, I will also include my Skype username. I don't really mind people uh, dogging on me because it. I don't really care. I know they're just trying to get on my get on my bad side, but I'm not those kind of pe I'm not that kind of person that's gonna get mad just from something little. So I'm also gonna put my Skype on there. And if you want anything else, uh, you can message me through Twitter, Facebook, Flirk, um, I think Tumblr. Yeah, if you can Tumblr. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching my video. Um, please subscribe. Watch more of my videos. Put them out there. Share with everybody.